Hey, how's it going guys? It's me, your death one here, back with another video. This time I'm going to be showing you, um, it really it is basically the easiest skill point farming that you can do in Resident Evil 6. Uh, I actually was going to make this video uh, when Resident Evil 6 first came out for the Xbox One, like when it was remastered. Um, because, you know, I've been doing this, well, you know, since it came out on the 360, I've been doing this, uh, farming method. It's really good, and I figured, you know what, uh, I should probably share it with you guys, just so you guys can know, because I know I've been doing some Resident Evil 5 stuff recently, you know, the, how to get infinite ammo and stuff, so, uh, I'll probably do how to get infinite ammo in Resident Evil 6 as well, uh, if you guys want that, and maybe some other stuff for Resident Evil 5 or whatever you guys want to want to see again just leave it in the comments below <laughs> it's kind of getting off topic now uh, but yeah so this is basically the easiest skill point farming method that you can do in Resident Evil 6 all it requires is you gotta play through the game um, up until chapter 4-3 in Jake and Sherry's campaign and this is very simple because it literally all it requires is you just running through this one section over and over so it is a bit repetitive and to make it a little boring because uh, you are just doing the same thing over and over, but that's the whole point of farming, right? You just do the same thing over and over. Um, so the way this method works is, uh, again, you just play the same part over and over. I already said that. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's just get into it. So first you got to go, obviously, to play game. Uh, you got to go to campaign. Uh, you go to chapter select or continue if you're on the section already, but you don't, you'll always have to go to chapter select to keep replaying it. Uh, so you go to chapter select. You got to play Jake's campaign. So you play Jake, uh, and you got to progress up in the game up until you get to Chapter 4-3, the Poison Shopping District. Uh, to get to this point in the game, it'll probably take you, if you're just starting out in the game, uh, it'll probably take you about an hour, hour and a half, uh, depending on how fast you go, what difficulty you're playing on. If you're just playing for the very first time, it'll probably take you about an hour, hour and a half to get to this point. Uh, but when you do, you'll know you're in the right section because, well, obviously you'll see what it looks like in a second. So you want to come to Chapter 4-3, the Poison 1 Shopping District. Uh, the difficulty in the screen mode doesn't matter. Whoever you play, Jake Sherry, does not matter. Uh, and then you can have whatever settings you like. So you're going to want to start the game once you've done all your settings and you've chosen your character and difficulty and all that. And now all you're going to do is you're going to keep replaying this section and collecting the skill points. So you're going to spawn right here. Uh, you'll know you just came through this door. And uh, so basically you're just going to want to run down out of that building there jump over this barricade and you will hear this dialogue between Jake and Sherry so once you jump over that second barricade uh, right to your left here there is a treasure chest or a, a briefcase or whatever this is a, a chest it has skill points in it there's 2,000 skill points in that chest right there and then from there you're gonna wanna just keep progressing further uh, down this pathway right here there's only one way you can go and then right past this dumpster, right before where you see those guys run across, uh, you'll see another one hidden right here. Well, it's not really hidden, but it's kind of off to the side. And this one has 5,000 skill points in it, so you're going to want to pick that up. And then you just got to run to the very end. So you're going to run, uh, jump over this little barricade there. And then you're going to want to come to this door. You're going to want to ready up. And then when, uh, when Sherry comes over and she uh, readies up on the door as well, you're going to get this uh, loading screen and it's going to bring you into the next area of the game. This is actually chapter 4 four right here. So you're just going to want to hit the back button, go down to end game session. Of course, you're going to want to quit the game, hit yes. Uh, it's going to save the game. So now you have 7,000 skill points. And then you're just going to want to keep redoing this over and over. Uh, so again, you go to play game, campaign, chapter select, Jake. Scroll all the way down to chapter 4, 3. Then you're going to want to choose whatever difficulty, whatever character. It's easier to just spam A to do normal, Jake, and then start. And then you're going to want to, as soon as you spawn in the game, you're going to want to run over. So, to do this, um, I think you can do it maybe about every uh, 35 seconds. You can get 7,000 skill points using this method. Uh, so it is very efficient. Uh, especially when you're first starting off in the game, you can get, if you do this for, you know, like an hour or two, you can definitely get a, a good amount of uh, skill points. And that's going to enable you to get infinite ammo and whatever as soon as you finish the game. 
uh, and level up your skills and, and have really, really good abilities. Uh, so, you know, once you've activated, once you've got both the chests, you're going to want to run over. Uh, and then you're going to want to ready up on the door. And then as soon as you get out of the door, there'll be a little delay, but then you just keep spamming back. You end the game. And then once you get back to the start screen, uh, as you can see, we're right back to here. And then you just keep doing this over and over. Play game, campaign. So A, A, down, A, A. A, A, down, A, A. Down, 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 over, or right, right. A, 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 A. <laughs> I sound Canadian, A. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's the whole method right there. Uh, like I said, you can get about 7,000 skill points. Maybe, I guess, about every... 45 seconds it is really not 35 that would be that would be really good so yeah it's about maybe every 45 or 50 seconds you can get about 7,000 skill points so you know that average is to around like you know let's just say you're doing it at a reasonable pace you can get about 7,000 a minute and so per hour you can get what is that uh, 420,000 skill points an hour so that is you know really good uh, especially when you first start off in the game because you know you have nothing, you have no skills, and that'll really aid you in being able to, you know, upgrade your skills and, and have the infinite ammo for the guns you need as soon as you're done the game. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's the whole farming method, so thanks for watching, guys. Oh yeah, and some, sometimes those guys will notice you right away, they'll, they'll start shooting, just don't worry about them. Um... But yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you did enjoy. Please check out my friends' channels. The links will always be in the description below. Keep it real, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.